Hello? Hmm? Okay, it works. Okay, good, good, good. It's really weird. My, my, I think my stream deck, stream deck, <laughs> my stream deck is kind of broken. Uh, okay. Uh, do we want to face to the voice? Uh, yeah. Hello. Okay. So. Okay. Sorry for no stream to, uh, yesterday. Uh, but I had to fix my sleep schedule. There will be a stream tomorrow though. A uh, short stream, an hour, because Media Molecule has a more or less sponsored stream. It's w hashtag one sp uh, special day tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna like collect money for, um, for a thingy. But we will see that tomorrow. Um, also, thank you so much, Papierfalter, for 10 months, and thank you so much, as for tier 2. A tier 2, so thank you so much. For 6 months. Wait, have you ever always had tier 2? That's crazy. Thank you so much for for that. 6 months. Let's go. Um, Yeah, today we're gonna work on foliage for the deserter. Um... I will show you some stuff I did with the uh, sticker mode though um, because it launched yesterday and I actually changed some stuff in Four Seasons for that already. It's quite big, it's quite a huge change. Uh, so le let me show you, let me show you. What's up titties? What's up, what's up Chris? What's up energy? Hello everyone. Um, What's up, Orstrom? Mia, thank you so much for 13. Thank you so much. Booyah. <laughs> if fire is for summer and water is for winter, which out earth and air are for uh, spring and autumn? Um, I would I would assume it's in the um, in the order, right? In the outer order. Okay, let me show you what sticker mode. Um, men's means for um, for seasons. Uh, first of all, I actually didn't save the stuff that I did for the Twitter video. Um, but yeah, look at the snow. No snow. A lot of snow. It's so good. It's actually it's it's like cheating. <laughs> It's like sheeting, for real. I can do it from the side, I can do it from the other side, I can do less and more, it's, it's actually crazy. Thank you, Betters, for the 100 biddies. <laughs> How does sticker, uh, sticker mode work now? So basically, if you have a text box, it's a button right here. You click it and it works. <laughs> you can adjust the um, like the box where it goes and everything. Yeah, it basically projects on. Um, yeah, it's a massive sticker. Look at this. It's it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. It looks so good too. I wish you could have like a fade off kind of deal. I guess you could do it with this. Uh, I need to experiment a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. I, I As I was saying, guys, let's hold off on snow because I know this would be a thing. <laughs> Look at this. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, worth, worth that we waited. We now have snow on the mountain. Um, but I have more. Uh, Makapu village. No snow. Not not necessarily snow. <laughs> um, actually, did I save it? Yeah. But dirt. Um, let me actually let me make it more clear what is going on here. It's like a dirt texture across the entire village, but I faded it out like this. Uh, so we don't need to do the like paint uh, painting over like roads and stuff anymore. We can just use a sticker, and you have like this uh, really subtle uh, 
color variation, also across the roofs, which is actually really nice. Um, wouldn't the text effect ang you though? It you would, except, let me actually put the music a little bit down. If I just group everything, if I group everything except Aang and maybe Appa and the NPCs, so basically group the entire map in one thing and then put the sticker in there, it would only affect this one huge group. So it's super easy, it's a super easy fix. Uh, Emil, what's up? Oh god. <laughs> oh. Um, but there's more! On Wu's assets. Um, first of all, look at this vase. It has like a nice texture to it now. Also, all sticker mode. It looks like this before. It looks like this now. Really nice. Um, painting. Looked like this before. Looks like this with sticker mode. It has like a nice like variation texture on it. Love it. Love it. So I did the same with this one too. This was before. This is after. Subtle, but uh, I like it. Also for the mirror I did the same thing. We have like a, like a, a texture on, on here too. Before. After. But are the stickers like on Thermo? So the cost of having a sticker is literally the same as you would just have a text box on your scene. So it's like one gadget, it's nothing. Um, but performance you might be... You might need to be a little bit careful with performance on, on PlayStation 4 at least. PlayStation 5 handles so far everything very great. Um, but yeah, like the initial like thermal cost is the same as any gadget. Um, let me actually show you... In the scene I did something too, because Roro added like a text box as a shadow here and I converted that into a sticker now and animated that sticker so we have like a moving shadow uh, on, on here as a sticker. Uh, which also looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. I was thinking about doing a sticker on those walls too. But I actually kind of like the clean look of those walls, so I'm probably not gonna do that. I also don't want to overdo it with stickers because it's very easy to just add a texture to everything now. <laughs> um, but there's more! Uh, the Great Divide. Mm. So in The Great Divide I was just experimenting with stuff. Mainly shadows, because this map is so big um, that the shadows don't really render in at huge distances. So I tried some stuff with, sticker, uh, with stickers here um, to have like fake shadows on the sides of these walls. Um, and it does actually hold up quite well. Like if you look from, from, from this spot. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. This would be a lot of effort to like uh, match all the shadows from the distance. Uh, there's another one. Uh, I think I, I, I also put one back here. Um, just as a test. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if that is worth it. A Millennium Falcon, of course. <laughs> um, to tr try some stuff here with sticker mode. Also looks quite nice. Um, I did try some stuff with Omashu too, but I know I, I kind of want to wait until Roro is done with that. But there's more! <laughs> Ang! Um, we have. So we had. Um, we had the Spirit World Ang before, that it was all keyframed. And it was like 2% gameplay somehow because I had to go into it, like every finger segment and every like other sculpt and the cape stuff and all of the eye assets, uh, eye sculpts and stuff like that and had to keyframe it uh, blue and lit up. That was 2% thermal. Now uh, it's one text box. <laughs> it's one text box. Um, same for the stuff. 
So we have Spirit World Ang in one text box now. Saved us two percent gameplay thermal. Really nice. Also, all effects are with with blue. We don't really need it because he can't bend in the uh, in the Spirit World. That's nice to have. Yeah. Did you fix the sleep schedule yet? I did yesterday. Yeah. Omash is still being worked on, yeah. Um, yeah, so we have Spirit world -ing working. Um, also, it's really nice for, like, if you take damage. Bam. It just makes Aang red. Um, yeah. I also tried some other stuff for, like, um, level ups. Which I haven't shown yet. Which basically something like this. Boop, and then so plop. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, and I have a whole test area where I try stuff out. Um, if like, like water is like super easy, um, with like waves on the sides now um you can literally you can do something like this where it automatically gets like grass and stuff it's, it's so crazy actually um yeah this is also st all sticker mode um you can have like uh topographical maps and stuff some trippy like i don't know some trippy trippy stuff um you can have like pickups we're probably gonna do this for for coins I, i'm not sure though we'll see um yeah and uh you can also have like uh bullet holes and stuff like that Really exciting, really exciting. Okay, but today we're gonna continue with the desert. Actually, wanna straight up wanna test something uh, for the water. Um, there's one problem with sticker mode currently. Uh, which you might run into with this actually um that is if you use this like texture painterly mode um it's kind of scuffed at the distance right now but we'll see i would love stickers in jets forest for what specifically I wonder if we animate the texture strength. It could give a nice uh, effect.
If there was a Paladin or Vorona texture, that could be animate. Oh, that would be awesome. How long did you test the stickers yesterday? Pretty much uh, all the time. Wait, what? What is this? Boost reached? Boost goal reached? 100% complete product 800 times? Is this this like Twitter homepage thing? At Twitter, Twitch. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna work on the... Uh... On foliage. Foliage. I do wanna do the tree. I think we're gonna do the tree uh, inside of the scene. Do we have a better picture? Mm. I had the visual bug with the sticker mode where we pan with the textures from afar. It is, but I think they're gonna figure it out really quickly. I'm not too worried about that. Also, usually you shouldn't like use stickers of for like huge areas. Because on PS4 it's probably once at like 15 FPS then. <laughs> what visual bug? Um, it's probably, you can probably see it if I turn the opacity up no, for this one. Cabbages. Yeah, see how this flickers in the distance? Right here. That is okay. Now you can definitely see it right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have to be a, a little bit careful with it. Does actually. Does it look better if I use that other texture? Oh yeah. What if you make this green? I want to test something. Can we unkeyframe? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, I'm what's up? Would it be okay if you have film grain on? Actually, I don't know. I don't think so. Film gram is a post effect. Yeah, it just makes it worse, really. <laughs> you have to turn it up so high. Also, if you work with sticker mode, uh, I always suggest to um, put the actual text gadget outside of the box you edit, because it's an absolute pain to edit it otherwise. Mm -hmm. Stream time! I hate film grain. I turn it off in every game. you create a firebending move just for this level? Uh, the move itself is gonna be a cutscene, but you will learn your first firebending um, in this level. But you can use another one, other levels too. Do, 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 do. 
actually let me turn it up so I can see what I'm doing. It's really weird how this works with the fade off effect. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Okay. I guess that. Let's see how that looks. If I put it like here. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. Can we make this a little smaller, maybe? Oh wait, I copied the whole thing. That makes sense. Okay, so that's that's actually pretty cool. It actually looks better than the series. I hope so. Um. I wonder if it's a good idea to use these so liberally. Mm. It's legit such a game changer. This update is insane. It's insane! Wait, I do want to get rid of... I'm not sure, was it this one? Yeah, this tree needs to move a little bit. Because currently it's, it's spending too much shadow. Okay. It's one of the best features I patched in. It is. It's, it's so, so good. I love it. First road of first thing I did was to um, make your shadow into a sticker and animate it in on Wu's house. Looks so good. You 
can probably animate this, right? See, I would love to have like a, an option to scroll the texture. That would be so cool because then you could like literally have it moving without moving the entire text gadget. Hmm. I guess that's fine for now. I kind of want to see like if I put one big one over here. You could overlay it too and make them both animate separately. I guess, but that wouldn't make it seem like a flowing river though, right? I couldn't believe I could just cover all of Kyoshi in snow in half a second with no performance impact. Yeah, I really wonder how bad it is on uh, on PS4. I, I cannot believe that there's like no performance impact to this. It almost seems too good. Have you seen the mountain video, Roto, that I posted on Twitter? actually insane like all of the like little crevices get uh, get getting touched by it it's so good maybe it's fine on ps4 huh i don't know What do the text gadgets do? It's using the new sticker mode, so we can project anything that is in a text gadget onto sculpts now. Um, yeah, I think uh, maybe we should. Like, I want. I want to do the tree. I want to see Iron walking around on that level with the snow. Only seen it from. 1060p. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 actually try. I did try it um, on my own, and it looked it looks literally like the sculpt is painted with snow. It's so good. Um, where is it? There it is. Let's extend it a little bit to try it out. I think we can can probably make it even brighter a little bit. Also top tip for glow for sticker mode. 1% is usually a lot, um, like 0 0.4, 0 0.2 is usually pretty good. Let me actually get rid of anything. Group all of this for now. And then have anything inside, so we don't have snow on anything. Yeah, this looks more like this looks more like snow. Hmm. 
god. <laughs> this is so insane, actually. Yeah, it brings out all the little details in the stone. Oh. Yeah, that that is not reasonable. We could pro we could probably add footsteps as stickers though now, if I think about it. That could actually be really cool. Where do I have to go? Oh yeah. Even on the statue and everything, it's so good. Yeah, and, and like a better like fade off control, that would be pretty cool too, because now you like have to adjust it pretty accurately to something. Might be hard to match up with the feet of Aang? No, not really. You can just have an emitter on the foot itself. Let's see how it looks if we make it grass. Or grass colored, whatever. For like moss and stuff, could be pretty cool. <laughs> I definitely need the like looseness of it then. Uh. This is so crazy. Like even sand. Like if sand is cover covering like rocks and stuff. Damn. Okay, well let's uh, continue. Uh, there we go. Moss on stones, yeah. I still think though, uh, moss on stones is probably better done with the old method because then you can get the um, the change between uh, between materials. So if this is like, let's say this is like super shiny, you want to have some moss on this. Uh, you can make this like rough. And green. Looks a little better, probably, than sticker mode. There's 100% FPS problems on PS4. Damn. The falling bowlers. Yeah, it's all like. Once we actually go in and make that in the level, we would only group the entire mountain. So everything that want that we want want to have snow on, we group and then have the stick on there. So the boulders wouldn't have snow, Ang wouldn't have snow, and yeah, stuff like that. That is no problem. We just it's a just grouping. Okay. Tree. No, that's kind of weird. I just noticed that. Uh. Know how the the tree is covering like the uh, the corner here, but inside we have like the um, the light falling through. Mm. 
So we might need to be a little bit careful how we place the tree. It brings it down to 7 to 15 FPS on the bow of my game. That is actually low FPS even before. Okay. Yeah, get a PS5. <laughs> get a PS5. I won. Um. Should we maybe start with the inside? What's up? What's up, big movo? Mm. PS4, you can get a PS5 easily these days. It's not that bad anymore. It sits like in the corner right here. And then goes immediately out. It's such a weird tree. Like, why would it go through the hut? We might need to adjust the hut itself with some stickers here and there to make it work. But it doesn't say the one message has been read by the mods to get approved. I just commented on the lighting and greeted someone. <laughs> uh, because you wrote MoFo, which is technically slow. <laughs> Let's try to work around this. It's part of your name. <laughs> I know. Maybe not ideal. <laughs> Mm. 
what the link that is Twitch. I can't I can't fix that. If you put a point in inside a word, it's automatically a link. That's not my problem. It's Twitch. A lot of apps do that. I think Discord also is doing that. And WhatsApp too. What's up, Worm? What are you working on? Currently, the tree that is uh, clipped into uh, Jong Jong's uh, hut for some reason. <laughs> And later we're gonna do some more foliage. Mm. What do you think of the Dharma show? I really liked it. Uh, but I think it's it's kind of weird how they actually mention and show how the families got exploited and stuff, and they technically do the same <laughs> with the show, like making money of it, off of it. So it was kind of weird, but the show itself was pretty good. It did lose a lot of momentum after the fourth or fifth episode though. But they had to cover that. I excited for the Avatar game coming next month. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I'm really curious if it's actually gonna launch next month. It would be really weird. I'm curious if they do it. That would be crazy. Like no advertising at all. <laughs> uh, so guys, does the new sticker mode have seams when you try to wrap something? What exactly do you mean? It projects onto anything, everything. Like it only projects into what it can see basically, so, so it doesn't cover the backside of it. So if you want to cover a whole asset, you either need to use face the face camera mode on the text gadget or like use like multiple. If you use more than one text gadget, yeah, it overlaps, but it doesn't like if you if the opacity is like full, it doesn't have any seams. Um, like if I do something like this. A 
like if you if I use multiple like this, it doesn't have any seams across it. Um, but if you have lower opacity, you can see how it like adds up in between, which can probably be used for some cool stuff too. Uh, quest for balance, I think it was, yeah. I don't, th I don't think they're gonna la launch next month. Since they haven't announced a release date yet, they probably internally delayed it, if it was set to next month. I can't imagine they, they launch a game without advertising it at all. Pre-orders already started in Canada? Really? But nothing official. Like, a site, usually what sites do if they, if they notice that the game uh, kind of got leaked or something, um, they, like, open up pre-orders to collect the money already, and once it actually goes live or gets announced, they collect the money or like give you the actual game They don't believe in the game? I don't know. It's just weird to me that they haven't done anything yet. Like at all.
Naruto, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, this one. Mm. Look at my last message will come in handy if you want to light your scene with paint. I found a trick to make the paint stroke invisible and still affect the world while it's painting. I found a trick to make the paint strokes invisible and still affect the world while it's painting. Yeah, that is a new feature, Juvi. You can turn the light on and make them invisible. Or what do you mean? I uh, imagine the whole hard work you do most likely won't even give any attention to the map. They will focus on gameplay and story. It is what it is. But if you turn it off so it's invisible by working on it, will still be there. I'm not quite sure what you mean. What's up, Ruby? Okay. There's a quest for balanced game, seems to be real since there's a there's a page for this game at Nickelodeon's wiki website. The official web wiki hosted by Nickelodeon or a fan-made Wikipedia for Nickelodeon and stuff. Because I would just assume the fan-made wiki probably has that covered. Nickelodeon fandom, yeah. The fandom websites are fan-made. <laughs> Those are not official. That's like Wikipedia, but everyone can access it. see <laughs> we'll see next month <laughs> if the game is real or not 
it seems very scuffed that it's already next month. Can't believe it. We kind of have to snake this tree around the light right here because it will directly be cut off otherwise like this. If I do this, you can see it, how it's cut off. I will be disappointed if it won't. I prepare that it will not launch next month. There's n literally no... nothing official that tells you that it should launch next month. So it will most likely not launch next month. Would be nice, but I, I highly doubt that. And the holes, are the holes from the tree breaking through? Nope, they're just holes. See, the weird thing is they haven't even announced it. <laughs> like, usually at this time you would at least have announced the game. If you want to launch something in, in a month. And that isn't even the case, so... I don't know. They probably have an elaborate... Elaborate... Uh, an elaborate marketing campaign for it. Eventually. What are we talking about? Um, the Avatar game that apparently launches next month. According to leaks. The RPG one. What does Avatar, Avatar game entail though? There's a whole thing. Uh, let me see if I can find it quickly. Okay, Avatar News, uh, blah blah blah, Quest for Balance is indeed real and it's on its way to you this November 8th from Paramount at Subsidiary Avatar Studios and Game Mill. The same people who made Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, by the way. <laughs> um, visually, the Quest for Balance looks straight out of iconic Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with cell-shaded art style and garnered so much praise for this day. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Gameplay, however, is not Breath of the Wild right off the bat. Uh, Quest for Balance is, is not open world. Um, the framing of the story of the game is that set after the end of the animated series, members of the Order of the White Lotus have gotten together for a game of Pai Shou and start telling old war stories to each other. They tell the events of the end of the Hundred Year War, the events of Avatar the Last Airbender animated series, with Paku covering book one, water, Bumi covering book two, earth, and Iroh covering book three, fire. You as a player play through these stories from the start to the end of Adla. However, their memories aren't foolproof, so you end up playing through alternate histories different from what have happened in the show. It's kind of like Avatar's What If. Some of these are more serious, while some are more humorous. The only playable character I personally saw in the small bits and pieces I I was shown was Aang, but from what I understand there should be a bunch of more uh, for all the different stories. This story system is why the game is prefixed with Avatar The Last Airbender and not Avatar. The recently revealed and aptly titled mobile RPG Avatar Generations will evolve to cover different eras like Kyoshi, Roku, Aang and Korra, while Quest for Balance is a big one and done console release specifically covering Atla. Coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, CSS, Series X, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Apparently on the 8th of November. I will link it to you guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The sound's too big to launch next month without um, any reveal yet. What's your thoughts about the new Don't Hug Me? I, I'm i scared show? I don't know, I haven't seen it. I am currently on a Fast and the Furious binge marathon <laughs> because they're, they're not in Prime anymore in like nine days. So I wanted to watch them all because I never actually watched them. They're kind of cringe, <laughs> not gonna lie. But it's also pretty awesome. Thoughts in the Minecraft mob world? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't follow that at all. I don't think Elka could sit through Don't Hug Me, I'm scared, because it's so bad. I don't have a problem with horror movies. I get very... not easily get scared. <laughs> Especially in movies. In games is a different thing. Because in movies you can usually anticipate it. In games it's like... Hmm, I know what's happening now. Happy Tree Friends was my Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Happy Tree Friends was fun.
I first started with Salad Fingers. Have you watched that, Edgar? Of course I have watched Salad Fingers. The old good. Some people of shit were probably not even alive when that show launched. I need like a hump on the side. Like Sesame Street, but terribly evil. <laughs> Where is it? On Netflix or Prime? Where is it? YouTube, oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, am I happy with this? Let me check some other pictures. I think there's a close up of it too, somewhere. Have some roots. I kind of want to do something custom for this. We might be able to use the bush somewhere else too. Thank you. 
Okay. What was the hardest building so far? Uh, Roku's temple. For sure. <laughs> the roof on Roku's temple was the hardest thing we did so far. Yes, but I will disable the shadow on the on the tree later, so the light still goes through. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> uh... Lumbago. <laughs> After that, Northern Air Temple and Northern Water Type left for book one. Indeed, but don't forget, uh, we also have to do the Fire Nation City for the disorder. I quite like that look. Oh, it's poking through. You want, don't want that. Not if, as if the... Actually, we probably can keep it like this. I just cut a hole through here. Oh wait, no, we do need to make this one not casting shadows because we have the spotlight here. Too bad.
Ja, we'll save, we'll save, we'll save. Okay. <sighs> Twist and turn. Also slight green platforms to make shade from the trees. These, this is just shadows. These are invisible. No one can see those. Just to cast a shadow like this. Otherwise this would just be a blob. Because the sculpt is like a blob. What's up, Blue? How you doing? I know you're from Twitter. <laughs> How you doing? Um, okay. So I think, think it's time to texture. Um, yeah, let's let's texture a little bit. Uh, this tree is actually pretty dark, it seems. I mean, obviously it got burned by Roku, apparently. Um, so let's see. I'm good. I'm good. If I need to stand up, I'll do. For now, I'll, I'll just power through it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just like... It's not, it's not like hurting, hurting. It's like... Uh, I could get a stretch now, but I don't need to. And there's like a fly flying on my keyboard. I'm scared. I'm scared it tries to tip something. It wanna tell me something. I wonder how good actually uh, sticker mode will be for this. I do need this because we are painting shadows here. Yeah. I wonder if the surface snap was a little bit too aggressive for this. I still need to like reduce the detail so. 
my hope is it doesn't look too bad with that. Yeah, nice. Why is it so green? How long do you have been using the Dreams platform? For around 4,000 hours over like three years. Yeah, the green kind of fits. I need to do something now. to comb this a little bit uh, otherwise uh, like texture direction looks kind of strange on the branches right here maybe actually the same for these Volume brush is so bad. It, it depends. It depends. Sometimes it's it's all right. <laughs> How do you get organic shapes? Um, let me turn the music a little bit down. Um, so the easiest way is if you have any shape. Um, oh, if you have any shape can just use surf uh, blend amount like this with L1 in square and you can turn it up and then when you stamp something together they like blend into each other um, you have to be aware though if you use like shapes that have like edges like a cube or something it will always blend in like an edge too which can be useful too so always try if you want to go for full organic uh, like spheres or like donuts, filled donut or like uh, the rounded cube even, the rounded cube is pretty good too. And you can also use the curve tool. If you press L1 and square with the, that one, you can get like a marker here that you can drag and then you can do like curves and stuff. You can also use blend for that. It does look weird. Uh, but it is what it is. It's like that in the show. Oh, that looks good with the, with the leaves there outside. Love it. Actually, let me turn this up. The bullet hole in the shack. Ooh, that might be a good call. I'll, I'll test that. Let's first shade the tree though. <laughs> I mean, it is like that in the reference too, that it is like separated. I guess, I guess we could merge both of these together.
Okay. Isn't the tree a little bit bigger? Uh, in that specific art, yes. In this one. Wow, we can't even see it in that one. Um, I guess we could make it a little bit bigger. Something like that. And the candles are actually standing partly on, on this branch too, so we're gonna adjust the candles later. Um, Dream's color select has been really sussy lately. I noticed this last time already. Sometimes it just doesn't want to select the thing you selected. Kind of weird. Or am I just tripping? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's a new bug. This would be so easy in VR. I might just get rid of these. Let me select. I have an idea. We're gonna sheep so we're gonna sheep. <laughs> we're gonna keep um the brands are sharp, but uh, but this we're gonna make unsharp.
Perfect. 1%. Nice. Um, <laughs> do I want to paint this too? Almost kind of want to cover this area with like a bush or something because it's so weird that this like halfway through the sod. <laughs> Let's try the bullet hole idea really quick. Hold C. This just reminded me of something where we use, we, where we used, oh, I know. Um, in Bumi's palace, the when Aang throws the stalactite with the key towards Bumi on the, in the cave with the waterfall, um, it actually has like a little, little crack there too. What's up, Greg? I'm unsure if I, if I like it or not. I don't think I like that because it's like leather wood kind of thing. It, it wouldn't crack, basically. But maybe you can do something different here. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I think we're just gonna cover it with like, with like some uh, bush stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'd want to paint a little bit more. Are we covering? Yeah, we do cover that now. How would this look without shadows? Oof. Oof. I 
I have a better idea. When we are inside, we're just gonna disable this. Gonna disable the shadow. There we go. <laughs> the block flag would stick over foot nicely. Hmm. So actually, we have to note though that when the candles are actually burning it is always night um, but yeah let's actually match these a little bit The wood is so tra transparent that I can't even put something in the inside of it. Uh, this is all the same. Maybe this one? <clears> that <throat> might be good enough, honestly. And can sit in here, yeah, easily. Actually, all of these small ones. It's fine. Can't wait, how this one candle is kind of different? Weird. Uh, is this all? Yes, okay. Have to move it up a little later. This one apparently has a run already. Okay. Dude. 
Do 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 Yeah, that's easily someone can sit down there. Actually needed to be sure. <laughs> yeah, this is this is how I sit. Yeah, easily. Nice. save uh, for Mirak 27 minutes ago. <laughs> um, okay, it's foliage time. Foliage, actually, we definitely should do some stones too. Let me actually stretch. <laughs> Let me stretch. Ah, uh. oh, holy moly. Okay. Much better. That actually brought it here to my eye. holy moly. Uh, what do we have here? Um, we do have this grass stuff actually. Oh my god, we can do the pathway now to the hut with sticker mode. Did I just use spine crack? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? I'm not sure. I think I, that was a remix. Okay. <sighs> oh, look at that. We can do like stuff like this now too. Over the bridge and all. That's actually so sick. I wish the fate would be a little bit more. Something in my eye, goddammit. No, it's not tears, okay? It's not tears. Ah. God damn it! What the hell? <sighs> he is. <sighs> uh, tears of the kingdom. <laughs> Speaking of kingdom, Mario trailer later, right?
this would affect Aang if we if I wouldn't group all of this. I'm not sure what I wanna group yet though, so we'll do that later. Let's keep that for now. Uh, we can always just uh, change it later. Man, I really like the grass on this. Look at this grass. I'm not sure though, like a sculpt would look weird. Um, but paint wouldn't cast shadows. I think I'm gonna do a sculpt and I know how to actually man I, I don't know though that's some spicy grass I like it a lot You could fake the shadows. Let's try some stuff. need to make this uh, as a scene obvious more obvious um, I did this technique for for the leaves on the bamboo for Heibai's village. And it worked actually quite nicely. So let me see if I can get it work for this too. I need like, I need a little bit of space for the Let me try, I try this. Why are you snapping? Why are you snapping dreams? I don't want to snap you. I, I'm gonna snap if you snap. Yeah, move controls would be s like, I could literally. Mm. Uh. Move would be so nice for this. Oh, this might work. Wait.
This might just work. Yeah, this will work. Okay, awesome. Let's have another variant of this, which is literally just a little bit. I've been playing a lot of Groundedly recently. Let me tell you that game is beautiful. If you ever want to see beautiful foliage, play Grounded. What do you think of the possibility of dreams coming to PC? Uh -huh. uh, slim to none. At least right now. If it happens, it probably happens in like maybe in like four or five years. I highly doubt they're gonna make a PC version before a PS5 update. I highly doubt they're gonna make a PC version before like the most like before multiplayer is in. And, yeah. It's gonna take a while. Making a PC version means mouse and keyboard controls, which sounds like a huge amount of work. Yeah, and a nightmare to convert. <laughs> Can I play Dreams through PS Now on PC? Uh, yes, I actually did play it on my Steam Deck already. Okay, let's give this... Uh, I don't know, do, I, do we want to include more? 
I feel like we can include a little bit more into this. And not PS now, not not PS now. Uh, remote play. You can play it through a remote play. PS now is first of all not a thing anymore. It's now PS Extra and PS Premium. Um, and you can't play it through that. You can play it through remote play. I think I want to have like a smaller one. I'm not sure it looks kind of weird. Maybe once we paint it, and I do want to apply a texture to this. So we'll see. Maybe. Do, 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 do. I don't know. We need to see it in the scene. I need to paint it a little bit. Um, then we'll see. better uh, let's do this too Okay, let's see if let's see if it works. It's worth a shot. Doesn't actually look too bad. like super small I do want to test something now
Okay, stick a mode to the rescue, please. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot it only affects the way it gets projected on. What actually happened with right with us? I completely forgot something, which makes it look off. Minus 10, okay. Hmm. I think once we put some paint uh, in between, it's actually not too bad. You'll see. Maybe even, maybe we shouldn't do this. Embrace it. Mm, we already have yellow tip tips. I wonder how hard it would be for MM to make it able to cover the entire group instead of projection. Oh, you mean like all around? Uh, yeah, I wonder that too. Doesn't actually... I think, considering how the engine works, it's probably pretty hard. Uh, but I don't know. Oh wait, I copied the entire thing. What's up, Pierogi? Flex are awesome. Gotta love the flex. We should have, we should have begun with that. Um, I think this was a cable, right? Yeah. We can go even. There's like a sweet spot around twenty percent where it like just switches. <laughs> yeah, look, twenty one, nineteen, eighteen, like twenty three is pretty great. Let's do that. How much memory would it 
uh, take to make the plants move when you go through it. Um, not a lot. Like I could even, I could probably do it right here. I'm, I'm hoping this just works. <laughs> just a lot of trees on. Um, just a bunch of obstacles, but honestly, we have the thermal for it, so it actually is. Yes. It's alright. I wonder if, if that looks good at all. <laughs> you can make the plants move just action recorder with squishiness. Action recorder with squishiness. What do you mean? Just to I think it's also funny, like everyone calls it squishiness, but it's actually called squashiness. Movable. Okay. But they definitely shouldn't have they shouldn't have collision in the first place to begin with. from that and then activate it when Aang walks through it or or why I'm not sure if this would work like that I guess to sustain. Or move the move it uh, in a direction too. I really wanna actually we can test it right now. Can you send me an element that has that? <laughs> it would probably take too much time for me to figure that out right now. <sighs> um, let's test out this one now. And why action recorder? And understand. Like, can can you not use a keyframe? I do want to test this setup, though. This needs to be not collidable.
I'm not good with keyframes to move. It's it just it's Like, this is the, this is like a dumb setup. Oh, this is actually pretty cool though. Like what we can do is to have a trigger zone on Aang and when it gets detected, it triggers like a, like a movement. I have an idea. Okay, first of all, let's set this up for it. Maybe have each plan move away from the center. Uh, that doesn't work with that scope because it's like a scope you can't keyframe shapes in a scope. You wouldn't need to set it up in the scene itself for that. With, but even then, it's this whole chunk. I'm actually curious the pain force. That might actually pr work pretty well too. Uh, this is detecting pretty much everything. Does this? Does this actually detect any script? Uh. Oh wait, it does! It does, it does, it does, it does. I just need to do this. Oh man, but even then, it probably messes with other stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. I guess we just use the trigger zone. Uh, we gonna make grass an object and machine that's my plus Wait, even better, even better. Um, if you call in a sculpt grass, it detects it. There we go. And this is a fall off. Um, I guess we want, do we want a cylinder? Yeah, because if you step on it, it should definitely deform based on that. I guess that works. Grass. Hmm. 
do you output something? Okay, why not? Oh wait, because it's... Guess both? Does it need to be in play mode? Oh yeah, it does get outputted, nice. Awesome! And we only actually need to activate this when we are on the ground. So let's quickly do that. So we have one trigger zone less active when we... Uh, will it work with the dodge roll? Technically, yeah. We could even keyframe it. It's just always active at his feet. Um. And on ground. Let's see. Did I save? Let's do it again. Obviously, we need to call this grass. I'm actually not sure if it's the whole group or just this. I think we need to replace it though. Yeah, we need to replace these. I'm curious. Moment of truth. Actually, let's, let's just put a bunch of them right here. I'm never sure to, I, I think, I, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not sure. Wait, why is it still collidable? It doesn't need to be collidable. Uh, let's save this and update. It, I did see it work though, but it does, it's only at the feet, so it needs to be collidable, uh, not collidable. What's the problem, Chief? Doesn't get detected. I think it's 
something weird with the group. It's always something weird with the group. Like if I bet with you, if I take this out of here, ungroup this, and then copy this individually, it will work. I bet with you. There we go. <laughs> it works with one though. Why doesn't it work with the other ones? Why does it not work if I do this? Or does it? First one works? Second one doesn't work. <laughs> Makes no sense! Why would a copy of it not work? <laughs> it's so weird. What does it keyframe? It keyframes this. Oh, I guess we need to manually keyframe this. Yeah. It's kind of sucks that it doesn't work with the group. Why does it not work with the group? Can I detect if a group gets detected? Yeah! Okay, let's do that. So we don't want that, we want this, I guess. Let's see if that changes something. Why not do what you did in Ki Kiyoshi Island? What did we do in Kiyoshi Island? As far as I know, there are no interactable grass stuff things in Kiyoshi Island. The crops, the crops are super expensive. <laughs> the crops is all paint that moves. You don't want to do that. Okay, that's kind of weird. It's weird as it doesn't work at all. Like, why would it not get detected? I don't get it. Obviously, we are in the trigger zone. May it k nah, we are obviously yeah, obviously in there. It detects grass. Is it this streak? Or oh, it might just be that streak. Okay. Let's quickly fix that. Weird. Mm -hmm. And everything the crops was the first year video I watched from you. Damn. I have infinite, infinite cabbages. Okay. Um, I actually wanna edit the animation of this a little bit. Was a little bit too much. I wish you could uh, keyframe shapes, that would be so good. <laughs> Maybe one day. I guess we got stickers for now.
Oh, look at that. Make it wiggle the same way as the flowers of the volcano, then we would need to have it as a painting. It's like a little bit... needs some smoothing. Or some... Uh, what do you call it? Floppiness, I guess. Let's try that. Is it floppiness? I'm actually not sure. What is it called in a keyframe? Springiness! Springiness. Um, my go-to springiness value is actually 15. Um, I actually want to decrease this a little bit too and maybe have two seconds for this. Um, more is usually a little bit too much. Less, you don't really notice it. For animations, I pretty much always use 15. <laughs> Does it actually affect it at all? It's like, no, no, no. Why does it... Oh, I guess because it's not... That makes sense. Because if you keyframe it down, it gets into the trigger zone. Um, and then it detect. No, wait. Basically, because we are keyframing it, the um, it gets in and out of the trigger zone of the... Um, of the grass, like what we have in AIM. So it like wiggles. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I'm out. Um, can make the zone taller. Would it actually change? Like if I let me see if I can position myself. Let's see if it would change something. I think it would. Maybe no, I don't know. It would. Okay. So yeah, we just need to make this a little bit bigger. No problemo. What is the trigger zone for? So the plants know when they get detected. Otherwise, how would you know? Uh, let's make it like chest high in case we have like some big grass somewhere. And I want to see how this would look with like full floppiness uh, too. If it actually does something. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty sick. <laughs> I want to do this everywhere now. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Eh? It might actually be a little bit too floppy. I like it a lot though. Okay. That is good to know. Good floppy. A good floppy amount. Okay. 
Uh, have you watched the roadmap? There will be a markup text color size. I know. We all, once uh, the Trello gets updated, we always cover it on the stream. Uh, the next time I stream. I actually have notifications on for, for the Trello. <laughs> it's pretty cool. There is actually some, some slight markup already, uh, but you I think you can't do it for like single words right now. I think if you put a hashtag in there, uh, it makes the text go big, I think. Yeah, hashtag makes, a, makes it go big. Um, I think... Oop. That's weird. I think if you do this, no wait, is it this? Yeah, this is bold. Ah, there's also a way to make it yellow and I think also blue right now. I can't remember what it was though. Um. Term? Terminal? Like like terminal? Yeah, nice, yeah. Term is yellow. There was another color though. Um Where the grass at? The grass we are placing it right now, it works it looks really good. Ah, Tap probably has it on his, on his website, if anyone wanna look it up. Tap probably has it. Oh, that looks awesome. When did you add that? It's the same as this, these here in the grass, just a different copy option. This is so thermo heavy on, on gameplay. Oh, please on a new update? I love it. It's I would argue it's the best update yet. Like from Tron? Oh my god, wo wasn't the... The... I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> oh, true is pink, yeah. Clue. Mm, 
can I quickly think of her being one of the biggest inspiration uh, for me going into game design at uni? Oh, thank you so much. I hope you have a great time there. I actually thought about doing like a game design uni stuff too before I went to study art. Uh, but in Germany they ha only had like private schools and it was super expensive. And, uh, but I hope it's going good. Hope it's going good. Let me actually switch this up a little bit with some darker variants. Maybe even darker than that. We have PS5 dev kits, they're so big. I've seen those with a like V shape, with a V shape, <laughs> with a V shape um, on the top. This is actually, this might be so bad for overdraw. <laughs> we should check that. Yeah. I think the, it's actually okay, but these line ones, I think we have to decrease the copies of that a little bit. Basically, the size of two PS5 stacked on top of each other. Damn. <laughs> Momo sitting on the tree. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Hi, Momo. <laughs> what are you doing there? Momo, calm down. Calm down, Momo. Calm down. He jumped up farther. <laughs> Momo, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sit. He's confused. Yeah. Good. You better come down. Damn Limbus. Koi, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Seem natural for Momo. I think we need to make the the plants actually a little darker. Oh wait, do we still have the trigger as a? No, okay. But does the summer actually say? Sixty-two. Okay, let's do it. No one saw that. Do you think on uh, uh, implement on dynamic grass and pass builds too? Uh, probably. We always go back and update stuff if you find new stuff. Wait, where's this? There you go. I 
I'm <laughs> I'm actually thinking about making the water so shallow that you can walk in it. Um, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We definitely need to make these plants a little bit uh, darker. Just starting out with foliage, guys. Underwater is also foliage. Loki actually wanna can we do this? Could Any tips for just starting out? Starting out. Um, do the couple of first tutorials and dreams. And don't feel the need to follow them super closely. Experiment while you do them. And once you feel like, damn, I, I now want to do something that isn't the tutorial. Then go into create mode and do something weird. Experiment. Thing. Um, gotta make the marshy water slow you down if you decide to do that. Yes. Man, those plants, I need to make them darker. The rocks will help, oh yeah. We ha have to get on that ASAP. I still wanna keep the highlights though. At least a little bit. Da haben wir nach Nerv getroffen. <lacht> uh, the only reason why I didn't really keep going with learning dreams is that it took so much time and I also had school. I would start now. I would start now. But I must start learning Unreal Engine 5 for me. It makes more sense in the end. I mean dreams in the end is just a hobby for most people. Oh yeah, so much better. It blends together now. <laughs> this island is probably like one or two percent gameplay.
Why is it so dark? Oh, <laughs> Ang. Um. Started with never using the tutorials. Never tried the tutorials. I never did the um, the tutorials once I once the fully released dreams actually dropped. I did do them in the beta, though. That's a lot of stuff. Mm. The way I learned dreams was by experimenting. Absolutely, I knew what I wanted to make, so I learned at my own pace. That's, I think that's also the best way to do that. To learn dreams. Mm. It helps having... Um, was this? Oh, I added flies. I completely forgot. Um, there's some random flies somewhere. Um, I think it's only visible in play mode. Let's see if we can find one. Honestly, it probably won't show up on stream if we find one. I should probably ex make them bigger. I see I deactivated them. Makes sense. Flies. Bam. And now we have some flies in there. They oh there was one. Do PS4 games take full advantage of the PS5? Or would it be more beneficial to have a native port performance wise? Uh, PS5, if the game got an update, or even in some cases with like with Dreams, um, it runs super smoothly. I don't think any game that was updated for PS5 runs bad. Like it's all 60, F 60 FPS basically. You mean horsefly, dragonfly, platypusfly? <laughs> um, it's a rhinocerosfly. <laughs> What's up, Entropy? How are you doing? Look at this. Look at this magic of paint and uh, not paint. Um, sticker mode. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> sticker mode. It's so good. Best update. Aang moves so fast you can't even appreciate that the plants are moving. <laughs> oh. Some people will appreciate it. Probably. Do vines uh, leaves not swing with the wind? Uh, no, they don't. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Depends. If it's a group. Because if it's a group, it's it's an easy add. If not, it is a group. Ah, oh, goddammit. We will try it, okay? We will try it. Would you be able to gain more memory and gameplay memory with a native PS5 version? If Dreams get an update, 
for PS5, we probably would get more thermal. Yeah. Sticker mode, sticker stuff will have lots of fun users, I think. It will. Um, I wanted to say something. I forgot. I move them, I think, no. Oh no, we can't move them, you know why, shit? Because the vines are inside the same script as the trunk. I'm sorry. We can move these, though. If we really want to. No, we want to. Um, I made a little sonar thing last night just playing. The scope limitations are a bit annoying, though. Yes. Entropy, I don't know if you if you already saw it or not, but you can actually emit stickers too. And it works. With a little trick. Uh, I wanna... I saw that. Okay, nice. Happens, I mean, uh, happens. Sometimes it, it do be like that. Um, I want to add a couple of like strips. Please show me. I did not see. It. Um, I could show it to you right now, but it's also like if you if you want it for reference, it's also on on my Twitter right now. But I, I will show you really quick. Um. Okay, so all you need is a sculpt. A text display for obvious reasons. Uh, I hate the setup. Every time you have to go in, out of it all. Sh shadow water off. Shadow off. Uh, in scene. Sticker mode. Uh, do a thing there. <laughs> um, okay. So you need a sculpt, a text box, and you need an emitter. Uh, let's just put it 2.1. You want to group the scope with the text display. Group. Bam. Scope all the way out. Emit the group. Preview invisibility. Go into the group. Delete the scoped. And now you can emit stickers. <laughs> oh wait, that could end bad. Oh, did it just get rid of all that? That's crazy. Oh, okay. Dragonflies. With some erratic movement, I think we can do something like that. Why does this always default to 100? Oh, it doesn't. We actually have to be a little bit careful. Let me disable the flies for now so I don't accidentally touch them. We also need, um, how's it called? Cat tails. We need cat tails. Mm -hmm. 
Schön froid. Ähm. <lacht> um, oh, we need the stones. We do need the stones. Let's do the stones. Stones will actually add up quite a bit to this. The stones in this is actually pretty smooth. Shut, shut, really smooth. Smooth. I think they would go about making a Dreams PS5 version. Would they have to add a PS4 thermos simulator to check if the game would play on PS4? Um, okay, so I don't know how they would do it, but the way I would do it is to have literally a line at the thermo where the PS4 thermo would end. Um, and if you go over it, it's PS5 exclusive. Uh, if you don't, you can also play it on PS4. But um, you should have the option to make something PS5 exclusive nonetheless. If you think your game wouldn't perform good on PS4, <coughs> every PS5, PS5 game ever made in dreams, <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I would do it. And have a PS5 detection, it would be pretty sick too. When it Edgar save last, every time I switch the scene to work on stuff, uh, I save. So it's not that long ago. I'm not sure how much texture I actually want on these. We could go all out with text as uh, sticker mode on these, like have them all grouped together and then have like one big sticker affecting all. That could work. To tank performance on PS4 um, completely. <laughs> What's up, Nico? How you doing? We're just gonna make sure that uh, the performance on PS4 is so bad that you simply cannot <laughs> resist playing it on PS5. <laughs> oh man. There really needs to be a toggle to like say, okay, please don't play this on PS4. I developed an allergy to animal fur. Oof. I love my cat so much. Damn, that that really sucks. Like animal fur in general or just cats? Cats.
Maybe it's time to shave your cat. <laughs> I heard there's a shot you can t get to, uh, to be okay. Get it periodically. Damn. All animals? Damn. That's crazy. I wonder w why that can happen though. Like, what is it in animal fur that makes you sneeze or well, I, I don't know how you react to it but like what's the cause don't understand and shouldn't it apply to human hairs too in that case and to human hairs fur technically Asking the real question. <laughs> we are more clean than animals, but not gonna lie, cats are probably the most cleanest animals ever. Apart from del dolphins and stuff like that. <laughs> I almost said delfinos. <laughs> uh, Because they live in the water. <laughs> um, that's probably enough. So, oh, the saliva. That makes sense. Rats are really clean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually not quite sure about the color of this. Let's start. Let's actually start with something yellowish. What's up, Audi? I'm doing good. I need a live copy of this upside down. Mm. Hey, what's up, Johnny? How are you doing? Uh, why don't you make devlogs on YouTube instead of speed up building process? I think these would get more views, attention, but they would take more work. Of course. Yes, and I don't have the time to do that. I'd rather work on the game itself than to do devlogs. It would take a huge amount. I I definitely would need to cut a stream day if I would do proper devlogs. Can you get someone to edit? I do have an editor. But doing devlogs means s writing a script, recording the script, and then edit it. Like the editing process is not the most annoying part of it. I wanted to do something completely different here. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> we'll take too much time. Probably, I, I could, pr I don't know if I could stream at all if I would do devlogs, honestly. Let's get some browns. Mm, kinda. Like I don't even know what what I would tell. Okay, I made a stone. I made grass move. 
And I basically do that already in the time lapse in the beginning for like two, one, two minutes. I'm not a person that likes to talk much, <laughs> except in the stream. Um, like usually for the time lapse stuff, they're like, usually now they're like three to four streams in one video. So that's like what, 12 hours? Of, of footage sometimes even more and I can summarize that in like two minutes what we did there Nemi, what's up? Will the water be an object with translucent texture? Um, once we add something for the underwater, we might experiment with like translucency. I usually like to keep it non-translucent in greens because it gets really noisy otherwise. Might be a little bit too bright. Let's make it a little bit darker. Have you seen the one percent amazing water someone made? Uh, I don't know, but I actually have a water asset myself, which I think is like I actually don't know, which I use basically in all my creations. So this is my water, which I use for everything. Um, and this is like what? Doesn't even show up. So we have 31.1. Oh wait, I might actually. Oh, it's oh, it's already in here. <laughs> Use it. Um, so this is thirty-one point one. Now it's okay. I guess not. Let me actually check in the asset itself. Uh, I got the link. Sorry. I mean, that's mainly, that's mainly the sky though. That is the 1%. I mean, yes, of course, the water is too 1%. I can make my water look like that too, <laughs> if I want to. I just need to increase the waviness. I like to keep it calm though. Let's see how much it is. Oh, it's case 4. 3.2. 3.2. I can also do this. It's like more wavy.
Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Stones. 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 I wanna have some cracks in there. It's a light, okay. What what light is this? Oh I see. Nintendo's gone live. It's just the waiting room now. Uh, the trailer releases in half an hour. Should we watch it on stream? It's gonna be an absolute pain for YouTube. I probably can't monetize. Actually, I, I could. I just need to cut it. Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna watch it on stream. We're gonna watch it on stream. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about it. Uh, the Mario movie trailer with Chris Pratt as Mario. And I think Jack Black is also in there somewhere. Uh, let me actually open up the stream already. So I can... Just open it later. Nintendo. Mm. If I do this, then that. Okay, that works. Can I minimize? Mini me. Okay. You could end the stream recent. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. You can just cut it on YouTube later. It just means the vote is a little. Comes a little later to YouTube. They probably button my, sh my channel if I do it, <laughs> if I stream it. <laughs> Gotta remember, I I don't need to remember it because YouTube will probably automatically flag that video <laughs> and gives me the option to cut it.
What is up with these? Kind of weird. Same here. Favorite animated show other than Avatar? I really like... Actually, Arcane. <laughs> yeah, Arcane. That's probably my favorite one. I really like um, Gravity Falls too, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, Arcane, non uh, of course. It's just the best. Old house. I don't watch anime. It's actually... Maybe we should get a little bit of shininess on these since they are at the river. Yeah, Arcane is not an anime, no. Okay, let's see this rock in action. Oh, wait. Oh, my cabbages! Hack TV! Thank you so much for six months. Um, can I do... Wait, it, I know when it starts. I just can tune in then. That's fine. Oh, this is looking good. Ah, they fit in so nicely. I love it. Ah, uh, can we do it? I actually need to test something really quick with stickers. Um, I think we want this. And then we want, I think, I think only this. Oh boy! Sticker mode is such a game changer. Oh my cabbages! No, oh, my cabbages! Blue, thank you so much for the sub! I really appreciate it. Look at that! That's so crazy! That's so crazy! Probably need some for the for other sides too. Uh, 
Ah, man, it should wrap all the way around, though. Damn it. That's so good, though. Unfortunately, it also means that the top is gonna get covered by that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The effect itself is really nice. Oh, my cabbages! Oh, thank you so much for the gift. It's up too. to Kane. Ah, thank you so much, Blue. Can we get some cabbages in chat? <laughs> uh, it. You know what I don't like about this? It's it's this line. It's this exact line. If it would all way wrap all the way around, it would be uniformly. Having this effect on the beach. Indeed. Let's try it with some scopes here. Actually, I am. Yeah. Where is it? Huh. That is actually pretty awesome. Look at that. Yeah, sticker mode is new since yesterday. That's pretty dope. And uh, let's not group it for now because I don't know if. I wanna change something about this. Actually, Yeah, let's not group it for now. Have you done stickers any more level than fortune teller? And so far not. I only have so much time in my day. Actually... Uh, I should probably want this rounded. <laughs> Rhoda will do it? Probably. He already started with it. Let's keep this one as a sample so we know that we need to do this. This looks so good. Um, but let's add some more stones before the Nintendo thing starts. Because then we, I also kind of want to add an end around that time. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, 
Oh man, I love this. I love this. I think I would enjoy gardening a lot. <laughs> but I can't be bothered to manage it all the time. Like, even a plant dies in like a week if I get one. But I think the action itself, like, if I would have nothing else to do, I would probably enjoy gardening a lot. We don't even have night time yet, we don't need fireflies. I'll think about maybe next time we'll do some animal stuff. We still have like two whole areas that we didn't even do yet. <laughs> like there's like one area I wanna do right here. Um where the fight actually will be. Um and then we still have to still have to do the huge mountain and stuff. <laughs> Hope we have some. I once killed a cactus because I didn't feed it. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I love the rocky egg. Okay? I know. I love it too. I love it too. Also, what I don't like about stickers right now is that sometimes it's like really hard to get the this to show up. Um, So much here in one small area. It's a key scene though. It's a keen area. Key key area. But yeah, you're you're absolutely absolutely right. I kinda have to match it honestly <laughs> with the rest of the map. Looks a bit too yellow. This path is actually I actually should probably make this white to be honest. This is more white than yellow. Need to properly group all of this later so Aang isn't affected by that. I'm actually kind of curious how that would look. I 
Will the village be done after this or the locations around this? What do you mean the locations around this? This looks so good. Look at that. <laughs> Call me projector ink. Oh, this actually, this is kind of sick because his feet getting are getting dirty right here. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of inconsistent because of the... Oh my god. You missed my redeem. What's this word in German? Fireflies is... <sighs> Wait. Wait, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um What is it in the last of us in German? Um Die Wait, they actually didn't translate it in in the last of us. Glühwürmchen. Thank you. It's glue vermchen. I saw some people do pseudo cell sharing. Is that now possible? Is it back on the table? And I won't do it in our game because we literally have to. We would literally have to do it in every scene for every asset. Not gonna do that. Like I could do some like super basic cell shading. Um. Oops. But I, I honestly, I don't want to do it. Our, um, our spirit world egg has actually cell shading. Can you animate? Yeah, everything you can do with the text box, you can do with sticker mode too. Yep. I don't know. I don't know if I, if, if I want to use that kind of stuff because in the end, it's not it's not real cell shading, right, Momo? It ain't real. But what I was just about to say, um, we can do like dirt and stuff on Aang now. Dynamic dirt with sticker mode. Actually, we should probably go in and add some texture to, to Aang. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. I do like this path. Um, we do need the cattails. Actually, I'm honestly quite happy how this looks right now. I can probably do another darker one right here. So where does that show? How did show ships sail in it? It's more like boats. It's not. It's not ships. Small boats. Um. Yeah. Look at this. I guess I, based on this image, I would say the water is like maybe a meter, a meter and a half, at max two meters deep. I, okay, that's not really shallow, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Ang Fire Festival skin. I mean, it's it's basically just a mask. So I, I think we can do that. Wait, did it not? Oh, it did. Okay. Did you see the Ang from Smite? I sent a trailer in Discord. Yeah, it's like two years old. I've I've seen that. Uh, 
back then. I've seen that all. But thank you for sending it in. Mm. Please give him a proper disguise. Overall, how far are we? This is episode 16 of 21 of book 1. We only made maps so far. Um, so yeah, this is the deserter. And we, we obviously we have some gameplay stuff, but it's just super basic movement. The opening, opening chests and stuff like that, zip lines. Yeah, we will watch the Mario movie review on stream. It's just like five minutes away. I already have it open on my second screen. Is this map? No, it's not done. First of all, um, we have uh, like two huge areas we still have to do. Um, this area where they're gonna fight, and then the mountain area. And I also kind of want to detail all of the other stuff now with the assets we made. I have literally no idea how many percent we have done. You, I couldn't tell you that because I don't know how long it will take to animate like cinematics, how long it will take to get all the voice acting stuff done. Like there's no way for me to tell you how much percent it is done. I can only tell you we are at episode 16 of 21 of book one right now. That's it. <laughs> That's how far we are in. Everything else can take longer, can take uh, less time than expected. It depends. We'll see. the boat scene gonna be like Zuko ship fight on some pole level um, it's it's gonna be a mixture between like on ground and on the boats because Aang jumps around on the boats in order for Zhao to destroy them so I will see she quite liked how this looked Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Uh, let's quickly change that. I, I'm, I'm legally not allowed to use voice lines from the original. That would be my death. <laughs> um, oh wait! I need to do it in this scene. Can I just do this? I wish you could box select. Box select in dreams would be another game changer. That would be so good. Um, Like if I if I say okay I only wanna edit stuff that is in this area right here and then select the paint. That would be 
Very nice. Okay, actually, uh, let me see. Do we have a countdown yet? Uh, no, but we're gonna switch over any minute now to the Mario stuff. Uh, yeah, let me do it like this so I can see. Oh, I actually have that already. Okay. Huh. Weird. <laughs> okay, let me switch over before we miss it. The voice act of Toss said she would voice act. No, can't they legally reiterate their lines? Technically, it's not stealing and recording them. That's not the problem. The problem is if I... Okay, most voice actors from the ori original are interested in working with us, but it's legally absolute nightmare because it would seem to outside people like this is an official thing, which is not. <laughs> um... Because if you have original voice actors, uh, seems like an official, you know. <laughs> okay. We don't have sound yet, so I need to adjust on the fly. Uh, do you guys want a face cam or not? Do you want to have my face reacting? Oh, there's no music on the stream. What the hell? What is this? What is this, Nintendo? Facecam? Okay. I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> Nintendo's honestly submit based. <laughs> it's true. I think the most insane thing about Nintendo is actually that their games never are on sale. <laughs> like that legit prevents me from buying Nintendo games. I have a Switch here, everything. I think I bought like one Nintendo game, which is I think Zelda and I haven't even played it. <laughs> At least not much. I should really, I should really play it. Let me actually check something. I think they officially said it's like 22, uh, it's like five minutes after. So it should start in like two minutes if I get everything right. I feel like Nintendo doesn't make triple A games. I would count mm, Super Mario Odyssey as triple A. Breath of the Wild definitely too. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> the other ones, I don't know. It's like it's like small, like. It's like, almost like indie games. Hope I didn't pause the stream. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Okay.
That's a really good guess, Papierfalter. Wasn't this announced a year ago? The movie? Yeah. Oh shit. Hello everyone, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. As we previously mentioned, in today's Nintendo Direct, we'll reveal the first trailer for the Super Mario Brothers animated movie for the very first time. This Nintendo Direct is also being broadcast simultaneously at New York Comic Con. Hello, New York Comic Con. It's been nearly 40 years since the original Mario Brothers game was released in Japan. Today, lots of people around the world are playing Mario games. Thank you all so much. Finally, the world of Super Mario Brothers will become an animated movie. We've been working on this movie together with Chris Melodandri from Illumination for a long time. From they made brainstorming the... and all the way through production. They made the minions, by the way. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris-san, my good friend and great partner for the movie. Let's bring him in. Chris Pratt, let's Chris go! Son. Thank you, Miyamoto. Oh, no, Chris Miller. Okay. I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek, Aaron Horvath, and the entire Illumination crew of artists. When I tell you that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with you and your team at Nintendo has been an absolute privilege. Our crew is filled with Mario fanatics, and they're bringing the very best of their talent to this film every day. Next week, we complete animation. We're knee deep into lighting and compositing. Composer Brian Tyler heads to the scoring stage in just 11 days. He's been working hand in hand with Koji Kondo to integrate classic themes from the game into the film score. The music is really loud. The Motosan, in the it's been over seven years since we first started talking about making this movie together. And it is thrilling to finally be here to show the very first look at footage with Mario fans at Nintendo Direct and at New York Comic Con. Miyamoto-san, shall we go ahead and introduce some of our cast? Let's go, okay, Chris Pratt, let's go! Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Jack Black and Chris Pratt. Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Are you ready? Uh, growing up, Man, I spent hours of my life stomping <laughs> Mario <laughs> in the original Mario Brothers arcade game at my local laundromat. And then, of course, it came out on Nintendo, and I played that, I mean, uh, maybe years of my life. Uh, it's, it's an honor, truly, to, to be able to speak to the man who created those memories for me. And it's, it's an honor to work alongside him. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to become Mario. Um, that, uh, that, that dream, like all dreams, faces one critical challenge, as in the film. I must face off against an utterly ruthless scene stealer. Every great hero needs a diabolical enemy, and I promise you, I could not have been paired with the more perfect king of the Koopas, Bowser, and my friend, the great and hilarious, supremely talented Mr. Jack Black. Thank you, Chris. I can't wait to have all the fun. Now it's time for us to make this moment all about me. While you've been dreaming about playing Mario, I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. And this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took me to learn how to breathe fire? I had to go learn it from Gene Simmons of Kiss. And all this hard work's been worth it, though. I am so proud to have been able to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san, as well as the entire Nintendo and Illumination team on this cinematic experience. Come on, get One to it. will make its mark on Mario fans. Let's see the teaser. Much love. Let's go. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. All right, then. Thank you all for waiting. Let's press the start button. 
Who's, who's playing Luigi? I want to thank all of you for being part of this moment with us. And we're excited to share even more footage in the coming months. It looks really good. I'm looking forward ah, to it God too. If something man, gonna... What do you think will happen during Mario's adventure in the Mushroom yeah. Kingdom? Production of the movie is going well. <sighs> Currently, like with any Nintendo game, the Rapia so get <laughs> I need to. I need I to. Hope you're looking forward to the next trailer. <laughs> It'll be a great experience watching the Super Mario Brothers movie in movie theaters. You'll get to oh, see I thought I would watch it on my screen. smart fridge. Look closely, and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. This film can be enjoyed by people of all ages, so I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. That's all for today. Not gonna we'll lie, you next spring in movie I probably Thank gonna you. watch it in the cinema. Look good. I'm happy. Now get out of here, Nintendo, before you demonetize me. <laughs> Bye, Miyamoto-san. Hope you have a great day. Okay, back to work. Actually, no, we kind of have to end the stream here. <laughs> it's already been four hours. Um, there will be... Um, there will actually be a stream tomorrow. But it's not going to be four seasons per se. At least not for the first hour. Um, because Media Molecule asked me uh, to stream for one special day. Um, we're gonna collect uh, some donations for that uh, so we can help other people. And yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow at. Um, actually, I don't know the time. <laughs> Wait, let me let me check. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I think twelve p.m. BST. So twelve p.m. Yeah, twelve p.m. P BST. So it's London time. So it's like one p.m. German time, and you can you can I don't know what American time. It's all weird. We have like ten time zones. America. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, 1, 1 p.m. It's early for me, I know. <laughs> I hope I'm awake. Um, and we're gonna go through sticker mode and do some accessibility stuff with sticker mode and stuff like that. And if I feel like it, um, I'm gonna stream some more Four Seasons after that. So we basically, basically we're gonna raid someone after that one hour to be... Uh, precise, I think we're gonna raid Kimaraki. Um, yeah, and if I feel like it, we're gonna start up the stream again after that and stream some four seasons. Honestly, at this point, I probably only do the one hour uh, because we're gonna have a, another stream on Saturday, and I'm actually gonna stream later that same day with some German friends too. Um, so, yeah. I think most likely next avatar stream is going to be on Saturday. But if you want to watch some sticker stuff, uh, feel free to tune in tomorrow. I have some exciting things I can show you. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to call it here. Uh, let's take a, a quick look at our, our work today. Look at this. Look at it. So Remy or the water doesn't really look like water. We haven't worked on the water much yet. It doesn't move uh, much and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Looks good. Looks good. I definitely need to uh, detail the back side there. I'm probably gonna do that uh, after the stream so I can take a, a nice screenshot of this. Or at least have something in the distance there. Um, yeah, okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. at 12 p.m. BST or on Saturday, same time as always. Um, let's see if we can raid someone. Ooh, Sorceless one streaming dreams, Puck is streaming dreams, and Card Racer. Let's raid Puck. Do -do 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 -do. 
Energy is in Pox Chat. I can see that energy. I can see that. Um, so, yeah. see you tomorrow on Saturday. On Saturday, I would I would love it if you are uh, there tomorrow. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, have a good time. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, and have fun with Piece of Craft. He's working on his kart racer in dreams. Uh, I think he started with a new like um, mechanic for it. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, bye bye. Um, I hope you also enjoyed the Mario trailer. It seemed pretty cool. Um, you are a dreams artist. Thank you for those closing words. And thanks for the stream. Thank you, Pierogi, for being here. Um, so let's raid park. Let's go. Let's let's hop over. Bye bye bye. Oh wait wait. All cabbages in chat. All cabbages in chat. Rolling cab. I want to see rolling cabbages in this chat. Okay. Let's go. Ben. <laughs>